cat yesterday. I'll just show you some footage of her now. Sapphire. Hello. Hello. How are you? Anyway, I've just got back from the radio presenting course I'm doing and we did a mock interview and I talked about YouTube. That was a stretch. I did say um and uh a lot because I was quite nervous in front of people. It's a lot easier just talking to nobody, just blank walls, nothing but a cat for company. It really is. This is a little bit wonky here, sorry. Yeah, it's not quite straight there. But, yes. So that was fun. I've got another three weeks of that to go and then I'll maybe get a show on air, which will be great. Even though we've got a cat and you'd think that would solve the problems I've got with rats and mice, I thought the best thing, the trouble is because there were traps around, big, big sticky traps, so I moved them around so that the cat can't get them. But while I was pushing one way back to the alcove at the back of the cooker where the cat wouldn't be able to get to it, I looked underneath the cooker and there's like a little grill thing I hadn't really looked at before and there was a thing that looked a little bit like a sort of rotten mouldy banana skin and I know that I didn't put a rotten mouldy banana skin there so uh, I poked it with a pencil and actually first of all I sprayed loads of cleaning fluid on it and there was a strange smell came from it suddenly and the cleaning fluid sort of came out in a puddle, a big yellow puddle, and I thought, oh dear, it sort of dissolved whatever it was, and whatever it was after I poked it with a pencil, was quite clearly either a very small dead rat or a medium-sized mouse. I think from the teeth it might have been a baby rat, actually. And I couldn't get it out because of the grill, there was tiny little bits. Obviously the, the, the thing, whatever it was, had got trapped inside, and so I couldn't get it out from the other side because it was, you know, there wasn't enough room. So I had to get my screwdriver, <coughs> pardon me, it was horrible, I had to get my screwdriver and unscrew the front of the cooker and even then it was just, <coughs> I had to use two, two pencils to get it out, it was disgusting. So, oh it was horrible and it took ages. <coughs> That's what I did earlier today, it was really horrible, it was disgusting. And it took ages and I couldn't eat all day so I've just eaten now. Good job I wasn't. Good job I didn't do this first because I wouldn't have been able to eat after this. <coughs> I'm feeling quite unwell now. But I just cooked something to eat now. And to be honest, the cat ate most of it. But that's fine because that's what cats are for. They keep your weight down because they eat all your food. Anyway, it's a Bengal cat. I'm going to put this on the Sammy the Cat video, I think as a response because it is a Bengal cat and I want to I want you to see it. I want you all to see it. And she's called Sapphire. Have I said that already? She's ten. She used to be a breed cat but she's retired now. So she's quite an old cat, really, in terms of cat. I don't know what ten is in cat years. Quite a lot. And I don't know how long Bengal cats live either because they're bred with wild cats. You know, I know there have been instances of cats living 30 years, but I don't know about Bengal cats. Probably, I think it was only since the 70s that they've bred them from Asian leopard cats, I think it is, and some Egyptian cats, and um, Aussie cats, apparently. Ooh, oh, message. So, she's in there. She's just come in now. Sapphire, do you want to come over here? Come over here. Oh, 